Hello everybody and welcome back to another lock picking video and today we're going to have a look on this very nice lock from that icon mm. it is a cross style lock and look at this fancy key um, yeah it means it has three sets of spins one coming from here one from here and one from the left side the key um, is cut on three sides and one side is blank, so there are no pins at the top. But and that means you can also enter it only in one direction. Um, this is noted here by the notch at the bow. And with this lock, it's a bit special because you can take out the key also 90 degrees turned. I'm not so sure if it's the case with all of these, but I will just explain you how that goes in the later part of this video. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, I was searching for these kind of locks for quite a while, or really not not active searching, but I was hoping I would find something reasonably priced, and this was it. I finally found something, and what you notice is here, um, maybe you can see it, there are only two pins for each of the rows, but there are quite more cuts on the key, and I think this is just a... Yeah, it was advertised as a switch lock or so, um, for two, so to operate an electric switch. But what you can see here in the back, unfortunately, is yeah, bitting of the key sticking out. So there are models of this lock which are deeper, where all, I think, four or five cuts of the key are active. But yeah, this is just a six-pin lock. So let's get it in advice and what I will do actually is for filming I will tape this to the top so it doesn't annoy us and then hopefully we can get it picked. See you back in a second. So here we are back in the vice. Looks just fine. And I will just, just tension clockwise because of the rotation limiter in the back and picking I'll try to do with a half diamond and usually the right side binds first like this and this is the case today as well. So pin one is binding, good click, same on two and now it's a bit back and forth between the two of them, almost as if they are tapered. Now it feels good. Let's check the left side. Yeah, one is binding. So get on top of it. Okay, feels good. And when I set these, I try not to apply too much pressure with the pick, but release a bit of tension, otherwise I will overset stuff. Okay, both feel good and we got a little bit of core movement when I apply, apply tension again. Now the bottom is binding. Pin one. And this, even if we are in a false set or something like this, I cannot get any count rotation. I really have to let go of all the tension. The tension is just loose in there now and now I have to Manually rotate the core back a bit until I can set this pin, which I just did. Now apply tension again. Oh no, not set. Now. And now the, the fault set is quite deep actually. So I'm not so sure if we have security pins in here. So, only the second pin here should be left, right. So, manually rotating back the core. No core rotation at all. And there we go. Got it open. So, let's show you from the back. You see here, <coughs> the cam piece moves freely. 
and what I can do now actually is lock it back up at 90 degrees and yeah here the the pins snap into the next Bible and what is nice to see is um, we have Bibles all around so we have a Bible up here 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 and here even though <coughs> There are no pins on one side of course through the rotation you will need them once rotated by 90 degrees and these four bibles even if you only need three also allow then that you insert the key here and turn it and remove the key at another position right because even though no Bible is needed up here now. Um, the Bible is of course needed here so that the key pins can move out when I remove the key. And same goes when I turn it 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense and you know what I mean. Oh, oh wait, before I cut away here. Um, yeah, uh, I'm a bit scared of cutting this because I, I really like to have this lock and I don't want to ruin it. And yeah, you can see that I did not mangle with the lock because the screws are still with their original coating of paint here as it comes from the factory. And yeah, um, I'm not so sure if security pins are in here. I would really want to know, but I'm not convinced of cutting it. So if you want to see what's inside, really convince me down in the comments. And if enough people say I should open it, maybe I will do a follow up video and Got it. <laughs> okay, that's that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.